Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about something called the Triangle Inequality Theorem. So what you're going to do is you're going to take notes with me on the first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is the Triangle Inequality Theorem? Well, basically it's, it's a rule for all triangles, and the rule states that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle has to be greater than the length of the third side. All right, so let's write that down and then I'll explain it more in detail. So again, it's the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle. is greater than the length of the third side. All right, so again, the theorem states that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. And the important thing here is please underline the word greater and then than, all right? So let me give you an example. Let's say for example, if we have, uh, let's say this side here is side A and this side here is side B, right? Well, I know that the side C are, is the longest side, okay? That means the sum of side A and B has to be greater than C, okay? So I could say uh, side A plus side B has to be greater than C, all right? So let's say, for example, say if side A equaled five, and let's say side B equaled four, right? That means side C would have to be, it could not be nine, it could, could not be 10, it could not be 11, it would have to be, say, under nine. So we could say this is side would be eight, all right? So the big rule is two sides added together always is gonna be greater than the third side. So now that you know the rule, let's try these two problems. So it says state if the three numbers can be the measures of the sides of a triangle. All right, so what I could do is I always like to underline the longest length and then look at the other two sides. So here we have four and three. Well, four and three is seven, and that's greater than the longest side. So because five is less than seven, we know that it could be a triangle. So that one is a yes. But look at this one over here. Here we have side lengths of 12, 10, and 24. So the longest side is 24, right? And I know if I add up 12 and 10, well, 12 and 10 is 22, right? And the sum of those two sides is less than 24. And that's just not possible with triangles. So the answer for this one would be no, those are not the lengths of, of a triangle. All right, so now that you understand a little more about the triangle inequality theorem, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these practice problems. So the first two problems, it says, state if the three numbers can be the measures of the sides of a triangle. So here we have sides that are 10, 14, and 25. So I know 25 is the longest side. Um, 10 plus 14 is 24. And 24 is less than 25, right? And the, again, the rule states that any two sides added together has to be greater than the third side. And this is not the case. So the answer for this one would be definitely no. All right, here we have side lengths of 8, 8, and 15. So again, the longest side is 15. So 8 plus 8 is 16. And those two sides are longer than the other side. So the answer would be yes. All right, and then finally it says, what is the largest possible whole number length of the longest side? So here we know one side length is four, and this side length is six, and I know that the sum of these two numbers, four and six, has to be greater than this one, right? And they want the largest whole number possible. So again, four plus six is 10, 
So one number less than 10 is nine. So nine would be the, the answer. All right, how'd you do?